Hey, Leo, this is your message for the week. <clears throat> Take what you need and leave the rest. We're starting with the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This is a timeless message, you all. Please take what you need and leave the rest. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Alrighty. Three of Pentacles. You're about to, to maybe start a new job at work. Or there's a, going to be a choice made between you and another people. You are another person here. You got someone kind of watching you. They have their eye on you. Or, or this person can be merely dating. Okay, This could be someone you work with or at your work. And then they really like what you do. And about, is there, they're about to uh, either hire you for a new job. Promote you to do something different within your same company. Or you're going to have about to meet your soulmate who's going to turn into your husband or your wife. And right now you're probably single, probably dating. Or if not, then you just know that you got somebody coming into your life. We have the Knight of Wands here. This Knight of Cups. This person is a very caring person, very charismatic, very nice, uh, very sexy, good to look at, male or female. Okay. And they like what they see. They're the emperor and they say, Wow, I think that I think that you are a beautiful person or a handsome man, you know. Kind of slow moving energy, but they still like what they see. And we have the King of Wands. But they see that, that there's potential with you. That there's some sort of a feeling that they have that you are the one for them. Okay, they definitely uh, kind of, they're peeping you out. Male or female. Okay. And this person is loyal. Very, very faithful. And this is for both of you all. The ending of one situation and the beginning of another. This is going to be the kind of uh, the kind of man or woman that you can take home to meet your family. You know that you are so much more better than you used to be because we have the fool and we have the emperor right under the empress. We have the three of pentacles, the emperor, and the empress. You can meet this the love of your life at work. Or this could also mean that you finally got somebody. You're all. You will have somebody in your life, Leo, that's going to be the one for you. It's going to be a beautiful relationship that's actually going to work out. Okay. You can have a relationship. You can have a child with this person, male or female. This is like a uh, a yin and yang kind of situation for you. What you want, this person wants, and vice versa. There's going to be a, a eclectic connection between the two of you. Eclectic and electric. Uh, this person is looking at you saying, I can make this my wife. Or this is wifey material here. You all are connected anyway by light. They see you and they say, well, I can make a family with this young lady. This is wifey material. I feel in my heart that this is the one for me. And both of you all may just be Leos, but it doesn't have to be that way. This person sees you. And sees a good thing in you. They see who he who findeth a wife findeth a good. He who findeth a wife findeth a good thing. This person found their wife. They found their love in you. They see you. They see marriage. They see in their life they want somebody like you. For whatever reason, they see mama in you. They see the mother of their children in you. They see a life with you. Mm -hmm. They found their wife in you. This person found the love they found in you. Jim Brickman has this song called The Love I Found in You. All right? This is the love they found in you. The Knight of Wands is back. Sexy. They think that you're very sexy, very alluring. And we got the devil, the, the, the devil card here, though. I'm going to clarify that. Three of Pentacles. Oh, so if you meet this person at work, y'all going to start talking if you already haven't. But this person, Gemini, I'm sorry. Leo, this person feels like, well, since we met at work, this may not be a good thing. We have the devil here. It may be a toxic, the energy may be a little negative because you all work together, but still, you're drawn to each other. This person is drawn to you. And maybe you are that person thinks, well, you know what? We work together. So maybe this isn't a good idea that we, that we see each other because we work together. Okay? It may not be the best thing, but damn, I like what I see. I want to get to know you. You know? Four cups. 
neither one of you saw this coming because you've been through a lot in your lives you know and you at work mind your own doggone business and the love of your life just happens to pop up okay I dropped a card we got the page of cups but should you should you you're saying should you approach this person or this person is saying should they approach you they're merely they're just thinking about you or vice versa and and it's like well because you don't see it you got the cup here you know but here it's like the person is saying well I want to get to know you better and you sit up there mind your own business or vice versa and this person is in your thoughts and now it's like well man if I get with this person I'm going to lose out on something I'm going to lose my job I'm going to lose the respect of this person or whatever you know but it's like wow I, I just want to I don't want to lock this person out of my life I want to get to know this person I want to make this hus this person my husband or I want this person to be my wife and nobody saw this coming nobody saw this coming Leo but you're working with this person you want to get to know each other because this is true love. Oh, I don't want to stand my hand. This is a romance of a lifetime for you. This is a romance of a lifetime. You just got to figure out how you can approach this person. Because the only thing that's going to separate the two of you is if you work together and you don't want to run that, that workplace relationship. Because this is potential husband and wife material. But how are you going to, how are you going to maneuver around your nine to five? Alright? 